All right, hello everybody. I am Arparelia. Um, I ended up as a number muncher speedrunner. It started as oh hi cat. Uh, it started as a silly suggestion after Bagfest when they had like an old computer museum and some of the computers were running number munchers, and then it turned out to be a fun thing to run. And I'm gonna launch like right into the run because it takes most of an hour what I'm attempting to do. Um, so this is the Apple II version of number munchers. It is. Really not the highest quality version of Number Munchers in terms of, like, quality of life. Um, but it is the version I have the nostalgia for. Uh, and, and one thing about this, uh, version is that, um, you have to choose one game mode for the entire game. And so I'm gonna be choosing Factors. Um, and, uh, no, let's go. Alright, so my goal is, uh, to... Play all 100 levels that you can distinguish in this game. Thank you. Um, and so, I also do a different run on the DOS version. The DOS version has a lot of uh, different features, and one thing it has is challenge mode, where it's constantly mixing up, whether it's asking you to, like, um, do equalities, or prime numbers, or factors, or multiples. Uh, and some of the multiples can be really evil that it asks you for, like multiples of 13. Um, and that doesn't happen in this version. This is like... This is a kind of like odd, an oddball and not marathon safe run. Um, but it gets pretty hyped towards the end um, because of the fact that I have to do this in, you know, one attempt. It, uh, there really isn't a way to recover. You get an extra life in this game at, um... So, the, the Troggles haven't had a chance to show up yet. They are going to be the real enemy. Oh, oh, okay. So, when the Troggle warning comes up, you, ha you have, like, one input's worth of time to get away from the edges. Uh, the Troggles in this version have zero chill. Um... Because if you're on the square that they come... that they, uh... They come in on, then suddenly, uh, you're going to be the one getting munched. Um, so you start with three lives in this game, and you get an extra life at 1,000 points, and another extra life at 10,000 points. And, you know, if you're thinking numerically, you might expect that there's another extra life at 100,000 points, and uh, as much sense as that would make, it, it doesn't happen. Um, Notice that the level ended without me munching the last number there. Uh, the Troggles change the numbers under them. Um, and if they change a right answer that you're supposed to munch to a wrong answer that you're not supposed to munch, then the level just ends right there. So yeah, this is the version that I of the game that I like actually remember from, you know, elementary school computer lab time. Um, and, you know, I was pretty good at the game then, too. Um, but yeah, it turns out to be just a fun, nostalgic speedrun that has, uh, very mild amounts of arithmetic in, uh, in this run. And so the plan, by the way, is that if, if this run goes wrong, if I lose before, uh, wrapping, uh, before clearing level 99, um, then I'm going to switch to the DOS version and do the other run that I do, which is speedrunning um, challenge mode on the highest difficulty uh, to level 30. And that's a very arbitrary ending point. Um, the kind of satisfying thing about noticing that uh, you can wrap the level counter in this game is it gives some sense of what it means to full clear number munchers. Um, so who out there is familiar with this game, remembers this game, and who out there, like, has questions about it? One thing that's important is the, uh, the different types of Troggles have different, uh, properties. So the, the green one making the, uh, making the PogChamp face, uh, is actually kind of helpful because when it moves over a right answer, it eats it for you and doesn't replace it with anything. Um... The uh, standard purple ones will move in a straight line. Does a number muncher ever get full? 
So I would say that um, the uh, best version uh, for quality of life uh, is the DOS version. It is. It has so much less lag than this version. Uh, maybe that's because you can tell DOSBox to simulate a reasonably uh, fast computer. Um, but uh, I think this game was really pushing what the uh, Apple II could do. Um, and so the Apple II version just has tons of lag and no pause key as far as I can tell. If something happened, I could pause the emulator, but as far as I can tell, there's no key on the uh, Apple keyboard that would pause it. Um, now, in terms of quality of life, there's I definitely also remember a uh, Macintosh version of the game that was on the middle school computers, and uh, that probably was a lot smoother than the Apple II version. I haven't tried that again since middle school. Okay, I just tried to eat the one, and it just ate my input, but uh, I wasn't going to hang around there. Um, this green... Uh, this green troggle with the two dongly things is the bashful troggle. Um, it will not deliberately move onto your space. So, I'm still not going to taunt it, but it's a lot safer to be around that one. Okay, get away. Thank you. All right. Yeah, again, once when, when the troggle warning shows up, on this version, you just have one input's worth of time to get away from the edge. The uh, most evil kind of troggle is the one to my left there, the uh, one with the big round head. Um, it uh, that's the troggleus smarticus, and it follows you and tries to uh, and tries to eat you. And I try not to mash too hard through these cutscenes because uh, it will buffer inputs, and so if I mash like spacebar too many times. Uh, then it will take that to mean that I should eat the square I'm standing on immediately uh, when the next level starts. And that would be bad, probably. Get away from the edge. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Okay. Um, these fishy-looking ones are also a little bit uh, rude. Uh, they tend to lay down new answers that you have to eat. Factors in 19. The prime numbered levels are very refreshing because there's only two numbers you have to look for, of course. Okay, I was feeling a little bit surrounded there, but that was my own doing. Okay, um. The uh, um, how he turned. I was hoping that the uh, the the pog champ looking troggle would would move on to the last answer and eat it for me. So when I practice this run, um, I sometimes make it, sometimes don't. It takes most of an hour. Um, very alarmingly, the sound of a troggle eating another troggle is the same sound in this version as uh, when you eat a wrong answer. Um, so that, that made me jump a little bit. Yeah, so this is playing the levels in order. Um, so I don't know what you mean by skip numbers. Uh, in, in this version here, um, uh, while we're playing factors, the uh, number it's asking us to factor is always the level number plus two uh, until further notice. Um, and, uh, I believe it can be set up to play in random order also, and random order is actually the, the default on the DOS version of the game, uh, so it could start you on just a really hard level, um, but you have the option to set it back to, um, to in order, um, which is what we do for speedrunning it, um, and, uh, Uh oh. Uh, okay. I I felt stuck on the edge there. Um. Hey, I've got another. 
refreshing prime number here. And uh, I believe that this version of the game has settings also. They are hidden behind some obscure key combination that like only the teacher was supposed to know. So I was describing this uh, run to somebody, and I forget who. Um, and uh, I was saying, you know, that this this run is not so much about the numbers. Um, this is a lot more relaxed in terms of the uh, the, the ma mental math that we have to do. Um, and so I was saying, it's not so much about the numbers, and they helpfully completed. It's about the munching, and and I I really think it is. Um, to make sure to. Uh, Munch the numbers with, you know, without wasting too many inputs, because the more inputs you put in, the more lag there is. Um, and gotta make sure not to get munched yourself, because the Troggles, once again, have zero chill when they show up. I have had a couple of instances where the game has been lagging as the Troggle is moving in, um, and even though it moves onto the square I'm on, um, I get to move off the square without it eating me. It's always very fortunate when that happens. So, I, I don't know how to make that happen. So, for skipping the cutscenes, um... Pretty much what I do is I wait to see some animation on the screen, because once it's animating, then it's probably ready to accept keyboard input. Because once again, I want to make sure to hit spacebar once, so that it's not buffering an input that uh, I will regret. Um, what am I looking for here? I am not seeing... Uh... There is a three. I'm really missing something. There's a nine over there. Yes, yes, the troggles behave differently. So, okay. So yeah, uh, let me try to finish this level and then I can describe the troggles again. Um, I think I managed to describe all of them um, before, but oh, 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 get away. Okay, that was close. Um, yeah, so the round one, round green one up in the corner is kind of the most uh, devious one because it follows you and uh, tries to get onto your square and eat you. Um, the purple one that's on the screen right now um, is the basic kind that um, mostly moves in a straight line and it can change answers under it. Uh, that Pogchamp one that uh, showed up in the uh, upper... Uh, mm, mm, where am I? Okay. Uh, that, that showed up in the top there. Um, is a kind of helpful one because it will eat right answers and replace them with nothing, and it might finish the level for me, like right there. And the one that's like purple and fishy looking um, is also a bit of an unfortunate one because it uh, will lay down a bunch more right answers uh, under it. For a while I had trouble telling the, uh, the, the bashful ones and the uh, ones that seek you out apart. Uh, the one in the upper right up there is the bashful one. Um, and so, like, I could get close to that one once it's on the field, but I also just don't want to taunt it. Even the one that moves in a straight line can uh, change direction, especially if it's faced with... Uh... So there's that... Uh... One box with a little grid about around it, that's the safe spot. Um, and so, Troggles will not move into the safe spot. And so, if it's the... Uh... Oof. Okay. Uh, if it's the one that moves in a straight line, and the safe spot's in front of it, it just moves in a random direction. Okay, well, I buffered too many inputs there and happened to eat the right number anyway, so that's... that's... 
that is some good fortune there. Okay, um, now it's time to walk next to the Bashful One because it's better than being next to the Smarticus. And the same six cutscenes just loop over and over again. What? Uh, get away! Holy heck! Alright, we've got some ones in the upper right there. Thirty-four. We need the seventeens and we need the twos. And you know, I feel safer because of the, how abruptly they come in from the edges. I feel safer when all three toggles are on screen. And of course, corners are the worst because you have to do two inputs to get away from them. Uh, thirty-four. What is? Oh, oh what? Oh. Okay. And so I start each level by grabbing what I can from the edge that's near me, like in the time I've got before the first uh, troggles show up. And I just have to have like a feel for uh, when to stop uh, being on the edge. I'm going to take a sip of water with this cutscene. Okay, 36. We're starting to get to ones that have a whole bunch of factors. The one that, uh, the, the ones that mess me up are, uh, 42 and 84. And I should, I should not say numbers that are not the level I'm on. Um, We'll talk about that later. So once again, we've got a nice comfy prime number here. Attempting fate by staying on the edge and eating another number there, but uh, I finished the level, so it worked out great. I'm gonna trust that these are bashful. Yep. Mm, now the evil dude's showing up. Thirty-seven. Okay, we're factoring thirty-nine. And the problem with the uh, safe spot is the safe spot can disappear at any moment, so you can't even rely on that. Once again, the sound of troggle cannibalism making me worry. Alright, we've got opinions on numbers here. Like, you all know that there are numbers out there that look like they ought to be prime, but, uh, but they just aren't. Um, and we've got, you know, a few different uh, flavors of those you can root for. I thought about putting one on as an option, uh, but then I was worried that I was going to, like, cause a big fight. If you play the, uh, the primes mode of this game, it will remind you that one is not a prime number. Okay, here's 42. Uh, this level messes me up, because for some reason, even though it keeps happening to me, I keep thinking that 4 is a factor of 42. So let's not eat that 4 there. 
Okay. Relatively safe uh, from levels that mess me up until uh, uh, 84 and 96. It does, in fact, roll back to the first level it did, which was factors of three. Um, and so we'll see how that happens. It is uh, not as consistent as I would like it to be about what the level number means. Factors of 45. Okay, this is one where we've got a bunch of different factors again. Uh, ones and nines and threes. Okay, we're good. There's just a 45 that's now in the corner. Uh, dashing for the corner just before the trial will show up again. It worked out. Twenty-threes. So, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about what happens when it wraps. The first thing that happens is that uh, what the level is doing wraps around from asking for factors of uh, factors of ninety-nine uh, back to factors of um, three, and that happens when you're on level ninety-eight, and then it goes from level ninety-nine to level zero. Um, and there wasn't a level zero at the start of the game. Um, and so when you're on level one the next time, it's asking you for factors of six instead of factors of three. So you actually can still tell that you're on level 101 and not on level one um, by, you know, noticing the mismatch there. Um, and also the fact that there are, like, more troggles. Um, so... As much as wrapping the level counter feels like completing the game, it is, you know, perhaps never truly completed. Um, you know, if you're talking about the levels that, if we're talking about the levels that you can distinguish, maybe you're like, um, you know, applying the the Chinese remainder theorem and uh, saying, okay, well, there's 97 distinct levels and there's a hundred things on the level counter, so maybe there's 9,700 distinct levels in this game. I think it works that way. Can you manipulate toggle movement? Um, so, uh, to the yes, to the extent that the uh, that the bashful ones uh, move away from you and the smart ones move towards you, um, yes. And uh, the smart ones don't seem to be guaranteed to move towards you unless you're right next to them. Though it seems like if I'm like two away from them, they will be more likely than not to move towards me. Um, but, uh, yeah, it is absolutely possible, um, like, I don't w want to get close enough to the Smarticuses, uh, to, uh, to manipulate them, but it's totally possible with these bashful ones. Um, and I guess mostly what I would manipulate them to do if I w had the time to think about it was to, like, maybe manipulate them not to eat the, uh, the helper Troggle. 51. That is uh, 3 times 17. Okay, I gotta get away from the edge. I was once asked by somebody in my chat during a run if uh, if I was really into the uh, the uh, seg the math man segment on um, PBS Square One as a kid, and you know, yes, how could I not be? It's like 
doing math, but it's a video game and it's on my TV. But I'm going to say that that, uh, that uh, segment gave me a lot of unnecessary stress about arithmetic. Because, like, you know, that segment teaches you that if you ever get an answer wrong, then you will be eaten. Um, and it somehow seemed, like, even more severe than in a video game. Because, like, you know, it's not just, like, a, you know, quick losing a life like in a video game. Um, when Math Man gets an answer wrong, he knows. He knows that he is doomed. And, like, it's tragic. Yeah, that hacking tornado, the glitch. There are better things named the glitch. Oh, no! So I just got eaten by a timid troggle because I was cornered. So that's uh, one of my lives gone. But yes, there are better things in this world named glitches. Hi. Okay, 54. This is one that's got a bunch of factors. Let's get out of the corner. Uh, where am I going? I don't like that six down there in the corner. Maybe it'll change. No, nope, not yet. Changed. Um, what am I looking for now? There's a 27. You're on it. Okay, now it's a 2. Now that's a 27. Maybe it'll be eaten. Cool. So, like, while Square One was absolutely my jam as a kid, I, you know, slightly blame it for making me, like, afraid to do things that were slightly outside my ability, because I was so afraid of getting things wrong ever. Does Score rap at any point? Um, that is a good question. Um, not at any point I've been able to attain. Um, the scores that I've gotten on this version of the game are in the, like, low hundred thousands. Um, and so it definitely handles six digits. Um, the game appears to use uh, binary coded decimal incident incidentally, which would explain why it wraps from 99 to zero. Um, So yeah, I hadn't kind of registered, but we are more than halfway there. Which is good, because the time is about halfway over. Okay, uh, we've got threes and nineteens. We've got all three troggles on the screen, so I can safely go into a corner. Now it's not so safe. Okay, we're good. 60... no, 58. 58. Need the twenty nines. Get out of the corner. So the uh, the worker troggles, uh, which are the ones that are all on the screen right now, um, they tend to move in a straight line, but you can't rely on it as much as the other purple ones. Uh, Fifty eight. So there's a twenty nine over here. And a two up here. 59. Let's get corner here. Yeah, so that worker struggle made a right turn while I was near it. Alright, I was slightly taunting the, uh, the Smarticus there. Alright, 60 is one where we've got a bunch of factors to look out for. Okay, 
So once again, this is like, this is a weird run of the game. Because, you know, using the Apple II version makes it, uh, you know, as you can see, very repetitive. Um, but again, in Apple II, like, it just doesn't change modes, ever. But Apple II is the version that I remember. Um, but for speedrunning, challenge mode is a lot, um, like, challenge mode to a set level, and we, we pick level 30, um, is a lot more reasonable of a run to do. Um... And it, you know, mixes misses, uh, mixes things up a little bit. Um, which does mean that it has actually a whole lot of RNG because, you know, it might ask you to, to uh, find all of the multiples of 17, or it might not. Yes, the uh, the emulator I'm using is, uh, is WinApple. I think that's the name of it. Whoa! Thank you for being there with the questions, uh, Vani. Okay, yep, I lured the uh, Smarticus over there. Okay, we need nines and threes and sevens. Oh, okay. I don't want to get in the corner there. Okay. Yeah, it was always a, a good day in elementary school when I would get to play this in the computer lab. Just munch that number for me, thank you. Got a 16 down here. All right. 65, we need fives and 13s. was close. Alright, 66, we've got uh, 11s and 6s and like 22s and stuff. Okay, we've got all Smarticuses here. This is, um, yeah. There is some sort of cycle to uh, which troggles you get on the level. And I don't actually know exactly how that cycle works, but it leads to some levels being just completely uh, evil like this one. All right. Once again, we got prime numbers. Just a comfy prime with only two factors because it's prime. Let's get away from the edge. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, there's a 67 down there, but it's well guarded. Now we got a one up in the corner. All right, 68. We need ones, twos, fours, seventeens, thirty-fours. Nice. Just looking for these three times twenty threes.
Okay. Um, 70. What? Why was I about to munch a 3? That would be bad. And I, as, as far as I know, the uh, DOS version does not wrap, and it's just using, you know, 16-bit math, so you might have to get to level 65535, or 65536, or maybe 32768. Sounds hard. I haven't, you know, really looked into the internals of it, but... Now, also speaking of glitches, once when I was playing the DOS version, it glitched out a little bit. Um, I, uh, I, I ate a number that was wrong, and it uh, corrected me with a number that was even wronger. Um, it's like, no, you know, 3 plus 30 isn't 33, it's, you know, 25,000 and something. Um, and I really want to know what made that happen. Our oh, half thing. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> Floating point error, of course. I'm gonna guess that number munchers would run on your DOS computer even if you didn't have a math coprocessor. If you didn't have that uh, hot new 387 that can do floating point arithmetic, I bet it would still work. Score threshold for earning an extra life. Yeah, so um, as far as I can tell, in this version, you get an extra life at 1,000 points and an extra life at 10,000 points, and never again. Like, it's just really disappointing you don't even get one at 100,000 points. All right, it ate the evil one for me. So when I got that uh, that wrong answer glitch, um, it was in the bottom right corner, and so there's probably just something they're doing wrong at the end of their array that doesn't matter until you get an answer wrong. That's my best guess. All right. 38, uh, we also have 19 and 4 and stuff. Nice. All right. Factors of 77 are distinctly easy to recognize. Oh heck yeah, chip cell. I can't hear the uh, the pretzel rocks music, but I'm glad it's there. Scooch over here, away from the smarticuses. Okay, I took a risk there. It was fine. All right, 78. That's got a factor of six. What's the other factor? Uh, 13. 
also 39. And also we've got all Smarticuses again. Missing something somewhere. There's a six over here. And a 26. Okay. 79. Once again, a nice comfy prime number. The problem with prime numbers is they get farther apart as you go up. Uh, this whole corner is... I'm just going to wait for the Drogles to show up, yeah. Once again, it's a lot more reassuring when there's three Troggles on the screen. And this worker is doing work laying down all those 79s behind it. Okay. 80. to the corner while nobody was around it. Cool. All right, 81. So you might notice that although I've lost two lives, the uh, the munchers in the bottom right have not decreased because you can have up to five lives and they just don't show up if you have more than three. Um, but I believe we are on exactly three lives right now. We're getting there. Four fifths of the way there. Grimace's evil brother. You're not wrong. All right, 83. I was talking about fake prime numbers earlier, and to me, 83 is a fake composite number. It really sounds like it should have factors. It just doesn't. All right, 84. This is uh, the big boss level for me. I'm probably fine, but uh, it's just got a lot of different factors. Like there's a 12 that I need, and a 6, and a 4. Not 24, though. Got 7. Got 42. An 84 and a 12. Uh, 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 uh. What's left? 42 down here. Yay! Alright, now it's just 17 times 5. Not 71 though, it's trying to get me. Ah! Okay, don't turn. Oh no! I was too bold. Alright, two lives left. Okay, 86. That's 43 times 2. All 
All right. Yeah, um, Lindalia, what you're afraid of can in fact happen. Like, it just doesn't give you enough frames to move off the square. But, fortunately, Troggle Cannibalism happens first. So, Troggles have to be in a particularly bad phase for that to happen. 87 is 3 times 29. Are there 29s out there I'm missing? There's some 29s left by the worker. I am going to avoid the corner for a moment. Yep, I'm glad I avoided the corner. Did you just see the level end before I ate the three? corner for a moment. Yep. Getting out of the corner again. 22, 8, 22. Cool. Got credit for intense. All right, 89. Also prime. We're getting there. 90. Not four. Oh! I even said not four. Uh, just making this run tense for you. Oh god! I flinched. Okay, 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 we're fine. We're not fine, but you know. We're not dead. I am staying away from the edges for a moment. The <laughs> nine. And a five. And there's a ten up there. And a six here. What am I missing? Okay, cool. Ninety-one. That's seven times thirteen. Staying away from the corner. All right, we're at level ninety. has got a bunch of factors also. That's uh, 40, no, yes, 46. The four is also count. 23 times four.
All right. That, uh, I'm panicking a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. 93 is 31 times one. No, 30, 31 times three numbers. I can say them. Ninety-four is forty-seven times two. Also noticing the game speeds up when there are fewer numbers left on the screen. Ah, 95. Uh, 19 times 5. Get away. Okay. Once again. In that same place, it just gave me credit for moving on to the square, it seemed. Or maybe you just skipped the uh, animation? Alright, lots of factors here. Alright, got past the 96. 97 is a prime number. Get the corner while it's safe. Get this corner while it's reasonably safe. Got 97s and 1s down here. Awesome. 98. 98 is 7 times 14. What's left? There's a 49. All right. Almost there. Okay, 99. Putting mm -hmm. it really close on time, also. But this run will either be won or lost in a few minutes. We have factored 99, and now we're back to factoring 3. Look at that. So we've wrapped the multiples. The one thing I want to wrap still is a level counter itself. Get it. Maybe the uh, the ear will eat it for me. There's a two now. There's lots of twos now. Hey, so um. Here we are at level zero. Let's just finish this level and then we've completed every level in Number Munchers for Apple II. Oh my gosh. All 
Hej. I was not sure I was going to get out of that alive. Just wanted to do this uh, victory lap. There we go. I'm calling it there. We have done every level. Heck yeah. Woo. Thank you. And just in time also. We have made it to the Muncher Hall of Fame. So thank you all for being here for this... Uh, Far too long run of the same mode of number munchers, and I'm really glad that I could do this. Do you want to play Factors again? No, no, not right now. Thank you, though. So, um, yeah, I guess this is just where I like say thanks to uh, people. Uh, thank you to Glitch Witch for just like. Poking me and saying, like, no, you should actually speedrun number munchers. It would be fun. People would like it. And she was extremely right about it. Uh, there was somebody else at MAGFest, I forget whose idea it also was. Um, and I really wish I could remember to credit them. Um, thank you, but thank you all for being here and talking about uh, arithmetic with me and sharing memories of computer labs and PBS. And thank you for to Fuzzy Logic for organizing this wonderful strange event.